You know those videos that keep popping up on your feed, getting tons of views, and making money effortlessly? Yeah, those. We'll explore how you can make your own quiz videos stand out from the crowd. Ever wondered how these videos rake in those views and cash? Well, stick around, because I've got some tips and tricks up my sleeve that'll blow your mind. And hey, we'll even talk about how artificial intelligence can help you create these viral videos faster and easier. But before we get into the nitty gritty, let's take a moment to appreciate the potential of these videos. Just take a peek at this account, overflowing with videos that have each snagged over a million views. Impressive, right? We'll also uncover the jaw-dropping earnings behind these videos. Trust me, it's eye-opening stuff. So. Buckle up and get ready to learn how to turn your TikTok quizzes into money-making machines. Okay, let's get started. First, go to the chat GPT and enter the prompt from the video description. Then, choose the theme for the video, like a basic general knowledge quiz. The AI will generate multiple choice questions for you. Next, we need to create the voice for our video. We'll use Eleven Labs for this because they have great AI voices. Just go to their website, copy the text from the chat GPT, and select a voice you like. After generating the voiceover, we'll split it into different parts for each question and answer. Now we have our voiceover and questions ready to go. Let's put it all together in our video. First, let's find some background videos and clips for our TikTok video. Websites like Pexels, Vecteezy, and Freepik offer free resources. For our quiz, simple backgrounds like city or countryside scenes are good so they don't distract from the questions. If your quiz is about something specific, like space, find related videos like stars or planets. Make sure the videos are in portrait mode, which works best for TikTok, and download enough footage to cover your quiz, which is over a minute long. Now, let's pick images that match our questions. FreePick has lots of free images. For example, if we have a question about Japan's capital, we can search Japan on FreePick. Choose an image that fits the question, like a landmark or map. Make sure the images are horizontal or square-shaped, as vertical ones don't look good in our video. Repeat this for all your questions. If you have 10 questions, you'll need 10 images. This makes your quiz more fun and interesting to watch. Okay, let's make our quiz more exciting and fun to watch. We're almost done with everything. Before we start making our video, we need some cool sound effects to make our quiz special. Here's what you need to do. Go to a website called Pixabay. They have lots of free sound effects we can use. Look for the sound effects section. We need to find three sounds. First, find a ticking clock sound. We'll use it to make our viewers feel suspenseful while they think about the answers. Then, find a ding sound. This sound will play when the right answer shows up on the screen, like saying, that's right, without words. Lastly, find a whoosh sound. It's for transitions, like when we move from one question to the next. It makes the video flow smoothly. Once you find these sounds, the ticking clock, ding, and whoosh, download them. Now we have everything we need. Questions, background video, pictures, and sound effects. Let's put it all together and start editing our TikTok quiz video. Okay, let's start making our video. We'll use an app called CapCut, which is free and really helpful. I use it every day to make my videos. First, open CapCut and start a new project. This will take you to the editing screen. Once you're there, import your voice recording, the pictures for each question, and the background video you downloaded. First, pick your background video and put it on the timeline. This is like the base of our video, where we'll put our quiz. Now, let's add our voiceover. We need to cut it to fit our questions and answers. Here's how it goes. First, the voice asks a question. Then we give people time to think. And finally, the voice gives the answer. Each question and answer part should be about six seconds long. So, we need to edit the voiceover to make it fit. After we've added the voiceover, we can add text and captions to help people understand. Click on the text icon in the top right corner and choose Auto Captions. CapCut will then automatically put captions where the voiceover is. You'll see the captions at the bottom of the video, but let's move them to the middle so they're easier to see. Now, let's make the captions look better. You can change the font size to make the words bigger or smaller. You can also pick a special font that looks cool. If you scroll down a bit, you'll see options for stroke and shadow. Turning these on makes the captions easier to read. They should look kinda like this on your screen. Here's a trick to save time. Copy the captions for the question three times. 
We do this because each question has three possible answers. This way, all the words look the same, and it's quick. Just change the words in each copy to match the different answers. Now, we're almost done with our video. It's time to add the pictures we picked. Just drag each picture onto the timeline and line it up with the right question. Make sure each picture shows up at the right time when the question is asked. And make sure each picture only stays on the screen while the question is up. This keeps your video short and focused with no extra pictures hanging around, just fast and interesting pictures that go with your quiz. Now, watch your video, export it, and you'll see it looks great. We appreciate your support. If you found this helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Your thoughts and comments are valuable to us, so don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Thank you for tuning in.